Number 5. The Carter Hydro Dam is a large industrial structure in the corner of the Mystery Lake region, sporting workbenches, a fire barrel, plenty of loot, storage space, and close access to the coastal highway. What could be wrong with this location to put it at number 5? The answer lies with its never-ending ominous creeks, dark interior, and lack of beds. Though the Carter Hydro Dam has multiple workbenches, a fire barrel, and a protective chain-link fence, it has no bed, a large spaced-out interior, and general bad vibes. 3 out of 10. Good for survival, bad for mental health. Number 4. Just outside the dam's protective fence are a couple of trailers. Losing the convenience of workbenches and fire barrels in your home, you gain a bed, a slightly closer jog to the coastal highway, and relief from the relentless creaking. This location is a good choice if you want to utilize the dam's resources in a more comfortable and livable space, but at the cost of several amenities. The trailers have beds, and an increased coziness level, but they have no workbench, no fire barrel, they're quite cramped, and wolves and even meese can be seen around the area. 3 out of 10. I prefer being cozy, but it is far from ideal. Number 3. The Forestry Lookout is an old abandoned fire watch tower near the middle of the map. The lookout has an incredible vista and a cozy interior which includes full furnishings such as dual stove, shelves, bunk bed, and rifle rack. If it weren't for the long hike, the risk of freezing on higher difficulties, and lack of storage, it would truly be an amazing base. The Forestry Lookout has a beautiful view, a bed and furniture, a dual stove, but the long trek takes a good chunk out of your warmth meter, it can get cold on higher difficulties, and there are very few actual storage containers. 6 out of 10. A great home for hikers who can manage their hoarding and backpack weight. Number 2. The Trapper's Homestead is a small, lonely structure in the other corner of the map. Containing a workbench, dual stove, and bed, it is the perfect home for those who don't mind the tight quarters. Plenty of wildlife to hunt, and though it is a solitary structure, it is close to the exits to Mountain Town and Forlorn Muskeg. The Trapper's Homestead has good loot, a dual stove, workbench, and bed, and lots of various animals to hunt, but it only has okay storage, is quite tiny like the trailers, and has no toilet. Where are you gonna poop? 8 out of 10. A wonderful spot for hunters, but it can easily feel lonely and isolated after a while. Number 1. The camp office is, without a doubt, the best home base location in Mystery Lake. This two-story building has stoves, beds, a workbench, storage space, sometimes even a frozen friend to talk to, and is just a stone's throw from the lake's fishing huts. Its central location provides you with easy access to all of the map's bounties, and though wolves can often be seen roaming the area, a sneaky backway to the cabins and fishing huts can be used in a pinch. The camp office has multiple stoves, beds, and a workbench, nearby fishing huts, and a central location, as well as two exits and a backway to the cabins, and even a frozen friend to keep you company during those long blizzards. 10 out of 10. This is the original, iconic long dark structure that stole my heart. It's hard to find something negative to say about this base, so I won't. The honorable mention for Mystery Lake would have to be one of the randomly spawned prepper caches. With one spawning in one of a handful of locations within Mystery Lake, they can be tough to find, but will shower you with a stockpile of useful goods. It can certainly be fun to live out the prepper life in one of these cool bunkers, but the sheer darkness and claustrophobia usually prevent me from using them as anything more than a well-stocked and safe outpost on my travels. Tales from the Far Territory is set to release on December 5th, and is sure to be packed with a whole bunch of cool new things including new tools and animals, so keep an eye out for more long dark content coming soon. And stay warm out there.